My name is Patrick O'Hare and I'm a Scottish social anthropologist based at the University of Surrey in England. I work as part of the Precarious Publishing Research Project, which was the idea of my two colleagues, Dr. Lucy Bell and Dr. Alex Flynn. Lucy is a lecturer in Hispanic literature and Alex is an anthropologist and together they developed an interdisciplinary study that draws on literary studies and social anthropology. They found out about the existence of a phenomena called cardboard publishing or editoriales cartoneras in Latin America and given the strength of the movement in Mexico and Brazil they designed a comparative project looking at cardboard publishing in the two countries. Given my previous experience, I was contracted to work in the project as a researcher carrying out an ethnography of Cartoneras in Mexico. So I'm here in Zacatecas as part of the Precarious Publishing in Latin America project to work with cardboard publishers, but also to carry out cardboard bookmaking workshops in schools accompanied by different editors. It's always been important for us to incorporate social impact into research and as such we decided to carry out a series of cardboard publishing workshops in a place where resources might be scarce but imagination certainly isn't. A village called San Jose del Carmen in the Trancoso region just south of the Mexican city of Zacatecas. The link to San Jose del Carmen came about as a result of a collaboration with Oscar Edgar Lopez, who as well as being a writer and a founder of the Rey Chanate Independent Publisher, is also a teacher at San Jose's rural sixth form school. Since Oscar had already carried out a cartonera workshop with some of his students, we built on his experience and decided to expand the project and include more pupils from his school and from San Jose's primary and secondary schools. Bueno, la editorial se dedica a hacer libros de autor. Son pocos ejemplares, en su mayoría hechos a mano, eh, cosidos, con una portada hecha en serigrafía o en grabado. Y también tenemos algunas cartoneras como esta. Bueno, que esta en realidad es una cartonera que no hice con Rey Chanate, pero que sí hice en mi otro <risa> papel como maestro. Antes de conocer a Patrick y todo esto, Eh, yo pensé que era una buena idea, si no, si no hay suficiente material bibliográfico en las escuelas rurales, ¿por qué no nosotros crearlo? Y por eso empezamos a elaborar cartoneras. The first thing we had to do in order to organise the workshops was to look for the cardboard. We knocked on a few doors and found a bit of cardboard here and there, but then we had a stroke of luck. We were able to go and collect a job lot of cardboard from a youth orchestra that had just received new instruments.
bajamos los dedos como lo practicábamos con el chelo de cartón ok, muy bien We found an abundance of cardboard, of which we were only able to take a small part, but thankfully what we did take was good quality, thick, clean cardboard, which still had the names or the brands of the instruments printed on it. O sea, una de las cosas lindas que tiene también la cartonera es que el hecho de ser artesanal a mano eh, implica que también pueden ser originales las piezas, ¿no? Que hay una estética cartonera, según algunos, que se basa también en algo que es un poco rústico, que no es perfecto, que va de eh, lo que es la, la uniformidad de un producto de masas, ¿no? De fábrica, de industrial. With Oscar, we decided to make a cardboard book which would be about plants, an herbarium of medicinal plants from the area. Taking advantage of the knowledge of the pupils and their relatives, we went out into the countryside around the school to look for plant specimens. And despite the fact that it wasn't spring, that it wasn't the best time of year, we were able to find an impressive variety of different medicinal plants. After collecting the plants, we returned to the classroom and described them, their characteristics and properties. <laughs> The pupils drew the plants, some of them stuck the plants straight onto the paper with sellotape. Then it was time for Oscar and I to get on with editing, numbering and putting the pages into a certain order, inserting a contents page and then photocopying the pages so as to be able to take them into the school students who would be able to compile them into books. Each will have their own cardboard book with a collection of plants and the corresponding information about them inside. We took the contents of the book to the school, the plants represented in drawings, cardboard cut to measure, thread, materials to cut where necessary, glue, sticky tape and other necessary materials. So what the pupils then had to do was to make the books and to spend a little while decorating the covers as they saw fit. Arriving in San Jose del Carmen again, the first thing that we did was to show the students examples of Cartonera books in order to inspire them to demonstrate to them the large variety of cardboard books that are out there. 
Then we started to hand them out the materials. We gave them pieces of coloured paper for the inside covers, the contents of the book, and then we started to explain the different steps of the bookmaking process. One of the first steps is to mark out a half centimetre with a ruler along the length of the book and to score this lightly with a retractable blade so as to be able to fold the spine of the book thus giving it some flexibility when opening. On this occasion we took along some wooden presses that we had made up ourselves the day before and helped the students to press the books inside. Then we used a hacksaw blade to make a series of cuts along the spine of the paper and cardboard, five cuts lengthwise and two to each side. Este nudo va a entrar en esta abertura y en esta. Lo amarramos, le damos vuelta, lo metemos por la otra, por el otro extremo y vamos cosiendo, metiendo el hilo por las aberturas que hicimos con la cegueta. Uno a uno. Then, with this method of bookmaking, it is also necessary to use glue to make sure that the books hold together well and don't become loose or fall apart. This is a sheet of paper that has gum and has resistance in this part. In this is paper and in this is resistance. We're going to cut a piece of the size of our book. Then we put a piece of tape on to cover the stitching and the tape can also be painted different colours. Finally, we moved on to what for many is the most fun part painting and decorating the books. Lo más lindo del taller fue el participar con todos nuestros compañeros, todos juntos. Pues aprendí que con cosas simples se pueden hacer grandes cosas. Pues sí cambia el pensar de uno de un libro porque ya ve uno que no solo es escribir, sino son muchas fases. Yo me llamo Diana Sánchez, estudio en la Escuela Primaria Antonio Rosales y estoy en sexto grado. Sirve de mucho el libro cartonero para ya no gastar tanto dinero en comprar cuadernos y nosotros lo podemos hacer. Bueno, pues yo quiero agradecer, quiero agradecerle a Patrick, eh, primeramente por brindarme su apoyo y su cooperación y su amistad también. Y bueno, pues a la Universidad de Surrey por 
permitirme también colaborar con ellos y, y a todos los alumnos y la gente que tuvo que ver en este proyecto que fue tan agradable y que nos seguiremos viendo en otras cartoneras. En este caso, lo que hemos hecho es un proyecto de, de libro herbario, un libro de plantas, pero también niños en, en todo el mundo podrían inspirarse en su medio ambiente, en su entorno y también en lo que sienten y lo que piensan interiormente. ¿no?